Are you eating too much? Are you not losing weight? How do you know how much is too much and what's not enough? Specifically when you're training for a marathon and maybe a half marathon. Today, let's talk about it. Coming to you live from Alora, Canada on the community ice rink. So here are a few telltale signs that you might be under eating. For one, constant fatigue. You never seem to feel like you get enough sleep. You never seem to feel energized. Number two, you're cold all the time. Three, rapid weight gain and weight loss. Seen that happen on a number of occasions where you may eat too much on one day and you don't eat enough on the other day. And before you know it, you may be yo-yoing back and forth. Number four, you're constantly hungry. You're always looking for something else to eat. Number five, you're starting to have some digestive issues. You know, the GI tract is really important and it's something that you need to pay attention to. Number six, decreased performance. You may not seem to be improving in your runs. And that is a big sign. And these things nowadays are called REDS and relative energy deficiency in sport. And if this continues long-term, if you're continually under fueling, there's bigger issues and long-term consequences, such as bone loss, number two, hormone imbalances, three, you're getting sick all the time. These can lead to long-term issues and it can also keep you from achieving your goals. But first, I gotta show you this. Whoa! Overeating. This can be very natural and very common for a lot of runners to justify eating more like a reward if you've gone out for a run. When do you know when to stop? And what are the limits? You know, here are a few signs that you may be overeating. Number one, you are gaining weight. Obviously, that is a simple one to understand. If you're out there running and you are starting to see that you're still gaining weight, that could be a very big symptom that you are overeating. Number two, after eating, you get very tired and you get very lethargic. Number three, loss of motivation to continue to do the training that you love to do. Number four, acid reflux. I think that's a big one for a number of people. I've had that happen in the past and it's not fun. And it also leads to the inability to perform. You also get like achy joints, sore back. It tends to kind of lead to like mindless eating and not paying attention to what you're actually consuming. I like to kind of keep things in that sweet spot where I'm fueling my body with the nutrients that it needs. At the same time, you know, I'm putting in the training, but my training isn't high intensity. My training is low intensity. So when I'm running, I know that I'm actually burning fat as opposed to all the carbs that I've been storing. The, having the electrolytes to replace what you've lost, because I'm sure, <laughs> you sure know what I'm talking about where you just want to dive into the bag of chips or the cookies or whatever it is and start chowing down. Most likely, you could just need some salt and electrolytes. So maybe just have some extra drinks when you finish before you start eating all of your gains away. So the two main causes of overeating in runners, and I am included in this. Number one, just because it's time to eat or you're watching Netflix or YouTube or you're bored and you're not paying attention to what you're putting in your body, you could be eating more than what you need. Number two, rewarding yourself with food. Food rewards are not exactly fun and it can lead to overeating. So if you crush a 5K or a 10K or you're out there for two hours and you're running, you come back and you consume so much food, you have to make sure that you're fueling for the type of runs that you're running and paying attention to what you're putting in your body is very important. Look, we are not perfect and everybody is different. So you need to make sure that you are fueling your runs for what they are and you're not rewarding yourself with these amounts of foods that cause all of these other problems that we tend to have. And I am included in this. So I would say keep a food journal, track your fitness and the amount of food that you're putting in your body. Uh, My Fitness Pal is fantastic. You wanna make sure that you're consuming the right amount of nutrients each and every day. And if you find that you're starting to gap out where a couple of days you don't eat very much and then the next day you like binge and then you have another couple of days where you don't eat much and then you binge for the next five days to kind of make up what you should have been eating, these are not helpful and it doesn't lead to a 
healthy lifestyle. And I've fallen into a couple of these categories and I'm making the changes. It's not always easy to figure all of this stuff out, but I'll tell you, from what I've been going through, I've made some changes and it is working. You know, I found myself, I was overeating guys. That's what was happening. And even though I was go there doing my runs, I was rewarding myself right after the run. I'd find a grocery store and I would go in and I'd start buying a bunch of stuff that honestly I didn't need to have. If I had actually been a little bit more aware that I had a bottle of my electrolytes and I actually drank that, I probably wouldn't go out and buy the things that I was buying. So I'm learning, I'm relearning, I'm going through the process. And it's just something that we as runners have to pay attention to. So if you like this video, I think this video right here may help you improve on your running. And like I always say, everyone, get out and run.